Okay, we'll get to meet started here. Uh, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. And this is just a special call meeting. So we've got a real short agenda. Uh, we have on the agenda to uh, discuss the city manager's position. And that's just all, all we're here for. So, uh, uh, Anybody want to make a motion to approve the agenda? Yeah, I'll do that. Is, uh, I wanted to ask a question. Do we want to have public comment? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I'm not opposed to having public comment any time. Uh, we don't have anyone to amend it on the yeah. agenda. So. Well, you should have put it on it. Well, I, didn't make, I didn't make up two agendas. No, no, I'm just saying yeah, we should have put it on it. You know? Yeah, we can just add it. I'll, I'll make a, a, a motion uh, to add uh, public comment, comment that's sort of in between three and four there. Okay, we have a motion to add the public yeah. comment. I'll second that. We have a motion to second to add the public comment. All in favor, let me know the raise your right hand. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we adopt the agenda as. Okay, we have a motion to adopt the agenda as as amended. We have a second. We'll second. We have a motion second to adopt the agenda as amended. All in favor, let me know. Raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Okay, next up we have, since our city manager has decided to uh, vacate the premises, we, you know, that's what we're having a special meeting for here. Um, Can I make yes. a comment sure. before we get going? Uh, I'd like to uh, take this opportunity, and I think I speak for the rest of the council, to acknowledge Miranda and the work that you've done. Uh, you have really, really had an impact on this city. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry we can't keep you on here a little longer, because the impact would be even better. But uh, all of us, I'm sure, would agree. Uh, you, you've really been a, a compliment and a very, very positive uh, addition to the city, and we appreciate your time and effort. Absolutely. Everybody agrees with that. Thank you. Okay, uh, moving along here. We don't have any. Do, do you have any applicants other than the ones that? I do, and, and the main reason why we're here is I, I kind of just need to know where we're headed. Um, tomorrow is going to be my last day, um, and there's a lot of things that we need to, to figure out the answers to, um, including what's going to happen next week. We do, I have put um, several resumes on your desk where I have advertised um, <coughs> a position, if you could just read through those. Um, we just need to figure out, too. Uh, Interview time? Are we going to advertise anywhere else? What what are what are we going to do in the future? Well, basically, how are we going to proceed? <laughs> Tomorrow will be my last day. I also need to know where who's going to get the keys. Um, who's going to follow through with doing all of the financial stuff? What's our payroll situation? Payroll this week? Payroll has, it was this week, so it won't be next week, it'll be the following week. The following. That's another thing, though. I mean, I just don't want to leave it, everything closed up and everything just stopped. Right. Well, does anybody have any suggestions? Well, didn't we close last year for the week of Thanksgiving anyway, if I recall correctly? We don't close week. the whole week, no. I thought we, we did. No, we have, of course, we, we have a holiday that, you know, that we can have. Of course, now last year, we may not have had a car at the time. We had closed for the whole week. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Don't so. uh, <laughs> But, um, anybody have any, anybody want to suggest or any? Absolutely. I think Tina should just take over the job. <laughs> just I'll second that. Easier. I'll second that too. <laughs> Sorry, throw you under the bus there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Let me do this bitch and nominate you. Yeah, I have a job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you I need to 
and you'll back not to work with me like that. No, <laughs> no I'd only suggest that because Tina has worked on here a lot with Miranda, and I think it might be an easy transition. But I don't know if it's something she's even interested in. I just figured I'd throw her under the bus. And, yeah. you know. Well, and that's something, in that fact, I came in and talked to Miranda upon coming in this evening as to where not Tina has shown any interest in. I know we depended on her since she uh, became the uh, mayor pro tem, she has been signing her checks and things like that. Uh, have you ever considered applying for the job? Well, I didn't, but I mean, some people have asked me to. I, I wouldn't have a problem. I mean, I'd like to learn. I wouldn't have a problem going to the classes. I'm not currently employed, so you know, I wouldn't have to give notice or leave, but I'm imagining I'd have to resign as a council member. Mm -hmm before I could submit an application. I think that's how yes. it works. Uh, I'm not for sure about that. The manager position is different because the mayor's generally the, the, those are duties that can be delegated otherwise, but as far as the city clerk receiving a paycheck from the city, that, that may be a conflict issue. So, but we can, we can look into that and make sure what the timeline would have to be okay. um, as far as whether it'd have to be when you accept the position or when you apply or when that would have to be. And Tina has a has a uh, what, what what's your degree in? That well, I have a bachelor's of science in religion with minors in Christian counseling and ministries, but my master's degree is in human services counseling, and I've used it quite well since I've been here in counseling. It would come in handy. <laughs> it would come in handy. Yes, <laughs> it's about working with people. And taking, but I mean, and taking lots of notes. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've worked in, in offices and done stuff similar to this before, and I do understand that there are, you know, differences with the city, but that's what the classes are for, and I'd be willing to take those, so I don't have a problem with that. Well, do we have anybody that wants to make a motion or anything? I'll make the motion. <laughs> Well, and for the meantime, any any sort of taking on that role would just need to be on a temporary basis until someone is hired to be in that role, whether it's you or someone else. But um, until we figure out the legalities of resigning and what that would necessitate, it, any motion should be just on a temporary basis until someone is permanently in that role. You want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that. We consider Tina as a interim city manager uh, un until we go through the hiring process and see. And so she could submit a an application along with anybody else who would submit. Uh, and but in the meantime, in order to create a some continuity of the operation of the enterprise, as it were. Uh, my motion speaks to her, uh, to Tina being an interim uh, city manager, I guess, uh, or at least as a council person taking on the role of operating the city in day to day operations. Is that, is that too wordy and too long? Uh, uh, <laughs> if that's your motion. <laughs> what do you think about that? Does that make sense? Do we have a second to that? I'll second. Okay, we have a motion discussion. It's open. I mean, it's open. It's we have a motion and a second. It's open for discussion at this point. Does anybody have any input in disapproval? Or? No. Well, James, I, you, know, you were about to, to enter a motion. What was your motion going to be? To, uh, to uh, our team? Yeah. <laughs> 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 But, you know, like I said, we need to follow the advice of our attorney and, and yeah, proceed right. with it. Right. So I, I and we'll look into the what would need to be done if it were to come on a permanent basis. But as of right now, temporary until the process is figured out and the final determination is made. I do have a question. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. I don't know how all the transition stuff works. Could we hire Miranda as a consultant to come in? And so she can kind of train whoever. Well, Miranda's already agreed to, uh, to come in. And of course, we'll, we, we would 
expect to have to pay her for that. Saturday is not filled out later. <laughs> she would be the uh, she would be paid at her at her at what rate she's at right now to to yeah. handle the uh, the transition. But is, I mean, has she agreed to? I'm just saying because having another job, I don't know if. Yeah, she I mean, was. I just don't know the legalities of this. I mean, it's like if it was me and I already had another job, I wouldn't come down for whatever you're making now when you're taking time from your family at that point. But I don't know if. You we'll know, have to pay or something. Yeah. Oh, of course we would. I mean, I'm not wanting her to do it for free. I'm just saying that it's. You know, I just want to make sure that everything is agreed to before she's gone to make sure whoever comes in is trained, so that we're not just assuming that it's fine. At, however much an hour and that may not be worth it to her because <coughs> yeah at my hourly right now I, I don't know that I would just because I have to come down here and take time out of my day plus I'm going to be working a full time job it's going to be really hard for me to factor that in so I'm going to say I would definitely need some sort of incentive to come down here and take that extra time to come down here and do that so. I just want to make sure all that I yeah, and I, I agree. That's exactly where I'm at. I don't want to leave this and complete this array because we've worked so hard to get where we are that I would really like to have some sort of plan walking out this door. And I am more than willing to help train Tina and get Tina on the on the right path. And I think she can learn. I think she can learn it. I think she's yeah. very well capable of doing it. Well, uh, sorry, I'm not yes, trying to start trouble. I'm just no, you want to make sure everything's taken care of. So we don't have yes, please. Sorry. So, uh, just speaking to the council, I think it's uh, critical that we have Miranda to make a transition, particularly in terms of right, right now she's doing all the work on the doing a lot of work on all the work on the audit. Only she knows where the files are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I wouldn't want to trust myself to do the finances. I don't. I only trust Miranda, <laughs> and the longer that we can keep her on board, uh, and the discussions I've had, the same discussions were that at a minimum we could have a notice on the outside board, a wall to collect deposits for trash or whatever kinds of financial transactions, just put them in the inbox, and we just pick them up, scoop them up at the end of the week. You would come in and could do all of the all of the uh, ledger activity to put it on the computer and where it needs to go, etc. So all the finance part of the world still would be under your control. And then the notion there is there would be a transition, and at some point, uh, whoever we were to hire, you would spend a little time with them so they understand how you did your work, how it's organized, where you're going. If we can keep that piece of this, the Nelson operation intact, uh, I think that is really, really important that we do that. And we're, we should be feeling blessed that she's willing to. <laughs> to well, you mentioned well, well, just wash her hands of it. And yeah. That's what yeah. I don't I want to make yeah. sure that's taken care of. And she's. Well, we discussed doing that. that you know, and that's the biggest week. thing, too, is, is that we've worked really hard to, to get everything organized and get all the systems working properly. And if we don't continue on, and, and trust me, with this audit going on this week, I've identified many different areas where there was a changeover of clerks. And during that changeover, a lot of things got messed up. Mm -hmm. So at that point, we really need to, uh, you guys need to go forward, to, need to really consider, let's keep good communication going so that way everything is transitioned smoothly. Well, and if you hire her like, as a consultant, it could be ongoing. So if something comes up in six months and you have to have her come in to explain something, then, you know, she's willing to do it. But I am going to be going to a full-time job that I'm going to be picking up and learning and taking on a lot of extra stuff too. So it's really going to, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of hard. It's going to be a little overwhelming. But I think I can. I, I've gotten through a lot of other things, so I think we can get through it. But I just don't want to every, don't want to say everything that I've worked so hard for this past year to go away. Well, we don't either. You know, that's why I was, why I was hopeful you were not whether or not uh, we ought to consider. Uh, taking this route when I when I first came in the building here tonight, and uh, you know we need to uh, to keep it going. Uh, uh, should we uh, should we go into executive session? You think to discuss what to 
pay a rent. That's what they do. We would need to do executive session to discuss that. Um, I mean, the agenda has been approved. I guess that <laughs> we could go back and undo that and reapprove it with an amendment to go into executive session. <coughs> Does anybody want to make a motion to change the agenda and go back? You're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> make a motion that we revise, make an amendment to our previously approved agenda to add uh, an executive exactly. session to discuss personnel matters. I'll second that. Can we add that before or after public comment? Oh. Quick go ahead and have public comment. Yeah, I think they do public comment. Okay, let's do it after public comment. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have a motion to second. In all in favor, let me raise your right hand. It's unanimous, so I guess I'd next like year we'll have uh, public comment. Anybody like to make a comment on what we've done here? Yes. Something is going on. This is the eighth person I think that you've had. There has to be something internal that is not right. Tina, I think you're capable to take, uh, take on this job. But you got to think. The wage, the money that's going to be paid to you, no incentives at all, okay? And you got to take the horn, you know, the bull by the horns. That's the only way this place functions, okay? Not talking here, there, everywhere, giving you little tips. Because I imagine her life hasn't been very pleasant this year. And she's done a tremendous job, okay? And then we're thinking about police department and paying them when we can't pay her? It doesn't make any sense. Okay? It doesn't make any sense. It's like turn in your charter and close the doors and leave. It's the best thing that can happen to the city. There's always some turmoil. I mean, you just have to talk with people outside here. Nelson! Oh, please. So there's something going on that has to be changed, and you know it. And you know it, uh, Tina. So if you take this on, it's not that you're not capable, because I think you are. But it has to start with you. What you want to make of this? It's horrible. Just horrible. After a year that she's had here, fixing everything that was done wrong, okay, by the gentleman over there. Thank it's you. just horrible. No, you're welcome. You're quite welcome. It's amazing. But as I said, I think you should turn, turn in the charter and you're done. No more problems. Anybody else like to speak? Okay. Everybody want to make, make a motion that we return to our executive session? Yes. Do you have a vote on that? Just an outstanding motion. I'd like me to consider me as an opportunity to enter and Kelsey said that if y'all would have to vote on that. Well, we want to. Well, that's fine. I'm just saying it was a motion that there's was a motion that still on the table. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's a, a motion to. Uh, Sorry about this long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, what yeah. it was. <laughs> yeah. So we made we need to make a motion a motion. A notion. Yeah, yeah, the motion was made in second and just needs to be voted on. Yeah, we need to vote on it. Okay, all in favor. Let me know and raise your right hand. <coughs> Thank you. Nice. Larry, can I ask a question? Sure. I know y'all were going to adjourn to discuss personnel matters. Is the personnel matter to be discussed? The salary to be paid for the replacement or for the contract services and or both? And the reason I ask is if it's 
to discuss the replacement the replacement subpoena, this would be a good place for her to refuse herself. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I, I would think if it, we go into the uh, in, into the uh, to the meeting room there to discuss that, Tina will have to return. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I need a motion to go to executive session. <laughs> we'll entertain a motion to go into executive session. I make a motion to go into executive session. We'll have a second. I'll do it. Motion to second. All in favor, let me know I'm raise your right hand. Okay, we're, we're, re we're going to go into the executive session. I make a motion to close the executive session. I'll have a second. We'll have a motion to second. All in favor, let me know I'm raise your right hand. All righty. And uh, then we'll... Uh, Yes, did you, want, did you want to announce what happened in the executive session? Uh, well, what we're, we're, we're considering, if, if she says she wants the job, I mean, we're keen, we're keen. We, don't we, to, we don't, we, <laughs> we haven't made any hiring decisions regarding the club yet. But, uh, that was it. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> the interim thing stands. <laughs> Okay, we'll entertain a motion to close it. I have a motion to adjourn. We have a second? Second. Okay, all in favor, let me know. Raise your right hand. Okay, it's unanimous, and we're closed and adjourned.